Hey, what's up, garden friends? Jeff here at Tropical Plant Party. How's everybody doing? I hope you're good. I am great. Bye, pumpkin. It is so chilly outside. It's time to move the plants in. That's not happening in this video. Oh, hey, squirrel friend. I was just about saying that that's not happening in this video. Yes, it is. That's definitely what's happening in this video. I'm vlogging while vlogging, and that's always just a risky thing for my brain. It's a lot to handle. I was about to say, hey, where we left off in the last video, I was doing all... No, that video should have already happened by now. This is a whole separate situation. Anyways. But yeah, I left things off in the last video. No. Two vlogs ago, last weekend's vlog, saying that I was going to pick things up with all this, and it would be in a separate video during the week, so I do need to do that, but that will have been done by now. So that video should be out. It's the morning of. This is like a behind the scenes sort of situation. I just didn't know how to do a long vlog for the weekend if I don't start vlogging now. So that's, don't even, you know, don't, don't worry about that. That's no big deal. Shouldn't even have brought it up. That's my fault. Good morning, Dobes. Good morning, baby Doby. You said you're a good boy. Yes, you are. You know, I pulled the, or I shut the drips off, I should say, in here, but I have a feeling they're still running since the ground's wet down there, so I'm just gonna pull those out. That's not doing any good. These need to dry out. Anyways, my whole point was I need to go ahead and do all those things, make that video, but uh, it's cold. Things need to warm up a little bit. Toby, are you coming? Tobes? Baby Toby? Senor Toby? There we go, good boy, let's go, come on. Yeah, good boy. Eventually in this video, the plants are coming in. Hi, sweetie. How you doing? Give me that look. Yeah, I gotta go somewhere. I'm sorry. Did you guys see this ad from Sam's? Look at the prices on these TVs. They're fantastic. That is so tempting. I mean, it's still a ton of money, but 86. 86 inches. I mean, that's too big. But, like, can it ever really be too big? I don't think so. I was looking at this one, though. That seems like a better price. I have an, uh, an old Vizio upstairs that's got lots of pixels that are burnt out on it. And... Uh, only one of the HDMIs are working right now. Hi, baby girl. Nothing? She was being so sweet until I started recording. Good boy, Tobes. Hey, that's cats though, right? Come over here, give the fish some food. <laughs> Get out of here. Anyways, <laughs> I was gonna run out, maybe grab a cup of coffee, get some caffeine in the system, get to work outside. Why are you... Okay. Basically just waiting for things to warm up a little bit outside and then, yeah, that's happening. And then I need to finish handling all this. I know, it's a disaster. You should have seen it like a month ago. I have been like pulling everything and going through totes. Tons and tons and tons and tons of totes trying to get things completely reorganized out here. So, you know, that sprung some chaos, but it's coming along and I'm glad I did it. I'm like doing a whole system over here. Like, I went through and got some things organized, went to Ikea and got this magnetic board to put, like, all the extra thingies on, and none of this is actually interesting, I'm sorry. I put in some new shelving things over here. This one's not the same size. I got this one when the Toys R Us stores closed down, but it still fits in there okay, kind of, sticks out a little bit further, but all this stuff was on this shelf on top of the tool bench, and it was starting to warp. So that seemed to make more sense. I have no idea where that came from. It was, it just, it just showed up. I don't know what that's doing here. You know how it goes. Sometimes you start a project and it's like, okay, I have to like gut everything and sort of make a mess to fix a mess. That's all. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. That's not gonna do. Yeah. It's that time you know, Let's go ahead and warm things up a little bit. I need to reset that clock. That's off by like three hours. Oh. Fall. Oh, I wonder what it's going to look like up here. Oh, nothing. One little leaf. In my head, that was gonna be just like a glorious piece of glass covered in beautiful leaves, but no, not the case. I was also thinking, that's so just more like realizing that fall's pretty. <laughs> that's not a revelation, obviously. What I mean is that I didn't really show much pretty stuff this year. I don't know if this is a lime angle, sorry. Let's go ahead and get that tripod fixed. I figured I'd bring y'all along with me so you can see some pretty leaves and things, just that 
little quick glimpse of Pretty Fall. I feel like in years past, I've like gone out and done some fall festive things in the videos. I didn't really do that this year. I've been pretty much just like hanging out with my tropicals and enjoying them while I can. So here's glimpses. The burning bushes are just looking beautiful. Why is my windshield fogging up? Okay, hold on, be right back. As I was, oh, now we got raindrops? Come on now. There, <laughs> finally. Beautiful fall. Yeah, a lot of the, whoa, that to the left, did you guys see that? That's very pretty. So much color. That's one thing I would like to move further south because this whole moving the plants in and out thing, like, getting a little old. I'm, I enjoy it. I think it's worth it. it I, it's like I enjoy the workout from it, I should say. And the change is kind of nice, going from indoors to out and then back. Like, that's kind of neat and everything, but um, I would ideally just prefer to live someplace where I didn't have to move the plants in and out. So someday I won't be seeing these pretty fall colors anymore. And that is something I'll probably miss, maybe. I know it's hard to say, I know a lot of y'all are down south. Let me know, do you guys miss the fall colors? The fall weather? all those things. I think it just kind of varies from person to person. I think it's nice, I think it's pretty, but I don't know. I also think I could kind of live without it, to be honest. I usually go left at that stoplight if I'm going to Starbucks, and then I, I realized I didn't want to go left because I wanted to see the pretty fall things that are up on the highway, so. Oops, I'll just get my gas station from the coffee. I'm totally fine with that. Aside from being way, 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 way too hot, the gas station coffee is a win. I say that like I'm surprised. I used to get coffee from the gas station all the time. It's just been a minute. It's delicious though. Pretty sugary, so there is that. I usually at home to drink my coffee black. See, look at how pretty, look at these maples. That's the whole, that's what, that's what's happening here. That's the whole point, look at it. Isn't that just beautiful? Took that route just to show you guys, isn't it pretty? So much fall, so much color. I'm enjoying it. They were saying the colors were going to peak around here, right around November 3rd. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be the case or not because Halloween, the 31st, it's supposed to get down to, they're saying 24 now. So that's probably going to do a lot of the foliage and that hasn't changed over yet, but it was still really pretty. And it's a little bit of a shame because I figured, you know, I'd move the plants and they need to be in by the 30th, which is like just a couple days from now. And um, then I... And after that, I'd go out and, you know, maybe do like a scenic drive, something like that. There's an area on the other side of the Mississippi, on the Illinois side, where it's it's just a scenic route. It's absolutely beautiful during the fall, though. But it's like, it's a bit of a trek to get over there and do the scenic drive. So maybe I won't get to do it this year. I've wanted to do it for a few years, though. Cats will squeak. Well, as soon as I hit record, she stopped. She was curled up on that little Lowe's pamphlet right there. You're so tiny, but yeah, I love you. Again, hey, sweetie. That was fun. Got to go out, look at some fall leaves and everything. Why am I stuck in such a close zoom? Went to the store. Gonna make like a super stewy sort of thing. Haven't made my mind up. Just got the basic stuff because it is chilly, and it just something warm and hearty sounds nice for dinner. That's neither here nor there. I've done enough procrastinating. It wasn't really procrastinating. I mean, it kind of was, because technically I was killing time. Killing time so that it would be a little bit warmer outside. But it's it's warm enough. I'm going to go outside, get to work. And then I guess by the time things pick up here, it should be time to start moving plants in. I think. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, I don't know what I've gotten myself into. I also don't know why I ended that last clip with as if, like, magically be moving the plants inside. No, I still, I still have to handle all this. It's one of those projects, you know, where it's like you get things going, and you're like, oh, I'm doing something, but then it's just, it's a puzzle. It's a puzzle. That's very shaky. What's going on? That's hopefully a little bit better. I just, I need, I just need, like, one more foot of space over here. I'm trying to get these tables off of the foam. 
I keep this foam. I'll talk about that when I talk about setting up the grow space. Anyways, normally those are right here. Then right about right here is where the Eureka pumps would be. So I've always had a very narrow walkway in here. And I hate it. I don't like coming over in this area during the winter time. So I've cleared out the space and which meant like totally reorganizing the garage, which is like, I'm like kind of gotten that done. Not really, but sort of. And it just, I just need a little bit more space. It's, it's table right here. Not quite fitting. So I don't really know what I'm going to do. I mean, previously in other years, it was just sitting out here like that. But see, that doesn't leave much of a walkway. So I would prefer that needs to, I want it over there. And then consequently have to figure out what to do with the lawnmower, all these sawhorses, all of the things that were along this wall. I'm pretty sure I can get the lawnmower underneath this. The handles, those bars come off, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. I'm just, I don't know, just kind of thinking out loud here. I could scoot all of this down a little bit, but not much, because I'm confident this there's a pressure washer in here which takes up a lot of space, but I'm confident I can move that to the other side of the garage, which is a disaster. That's where the pile <laughs> has been growing. It's where I'm like, okay, I don't know what to do with this. So I put out a bunch of totes. And so I have totes to keep things organized. And, um, so it's blocked my access to the shelves and everything where I need to be doing those things, but that's not a priority right now. My priority is getting the main plant area taken care of. So I guess I'll try that. I'll move that scoot. I'm going to cut back in the morning. And we'll see what happened here. Hopefully, I will have gotten a lot done. It's, I have no idea. Good morning. I did the things. Once I got it, like, figured out in my head, the puzzle aspect of it went together fine. I still have things to sort out, like this hula. I got that hula hoop thinking that I would make, like, a chandelier to put up here to hang all my orchids from. And then I just went with the PVC pipe. It made more sense. But now I have a hula hoop. So... Toys for Tots, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. But as far as all this is concerned, I still need one more table. So I'm going to run to Sam's and get that table. These are just sort of last minute things I've decided I wanted to do because at the forecast, as of like five o'clock yesterday, took a drastic turn and it's just rain. It's going to keep raining for a few hours. So I'm not moving plants in until that stops because, you know, things will be slippery. Sorry, just woke up. Yeah, things will be slippery. I want to swap out this table right here with another one because you see these down here. See this? There's no brace in the middle, so I can put the light in the center of that table, whereas these up here I can't do that with because of the brace right there. And at Sam's, Sam's Club, that's where I got these from, the ones that fold. So I can swap out that with one that doesn't have the brace, use this one for something else. I also decided to put down a bunch of this, um, whatever, I don't, I don't remember what this is called. I can't remember. It's like light waffles. It's not light waffles. What are these things? They go like underneath fluorescent lights. I use them in my aquariums a lot over the years. You can build little racks with them to like put your coral frags and things like that on. And then I have these left over from when I got a bunch of orchids in many years ago. It was in a video and I made like a little rack to put the orchids on because they shipped with like basically no roots. So I needed something where I could keep them right above my little pond thing that was really cute. Anyways, the whole point of that was that this creates a little surface that's slightly raised up so that when I water the plants, they won't be sitting directly in the water because sometimes these tables pool a little bit. And so for the succulents and cactus, I thought, you know, that's probably a good idea to use something like that. So the plants are raised just a smidge. And then I need to fill this up. I know it's dirty. I have scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed. I've used vinegar, ammonia. I've even resorted to just like filling it up and soaking it in bleach. And it's just kind of old and porous. And I could, of course, spend more time getting it squeaky clean and spotless. But as soon as it's full of water gonna fill up with algae again which i'm fine with because it makes for nice water for the plants so i'm not concerned about it that's not a big deal i figured out how to get the lawnmower under there that was a big task oh that was that was a big problem but i got it solved figured that one out have extra lights and things to work with right here this is kind of the line where my plastic goes because see it can't go any further than this rail here because that's where the garage door is so from here and over everything will be protected then i've gotten things 
organized for the most part over there and a lot of things are happening and i did have to do a last minute repot or it wasn't really that last minute i did this like i don't know about two or three weeks ago i realized i haven't really talked about my pruvianas in any of the vlogs like at all it rained so much this year that i never moved this cactus out i mean i did but like just right outside the garage where there's a slight overhang to protect it and uh you can see because of that there's some undesirable growth in there you don't want them to grow like that but it just that they didn't it, it would have rot it actually did start to rot that's why i ended up repotting it because even though i had it out from the rain i guess it was still just too humid so i repotted it into a soil mix that's like actually mostly gravel and just like a little bit of soil so i won't have to worry about that in the future it was in a very 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 well draining soil but it was just still too much with the amount of precipitation we had this year so it'll do better next year that there's that update which i know nobody asked for oh sam's has succulents mm, i don't think so okay look at that so many shelves, so much room for activities. A little bit of water in the pond right now. Doesn't matter, the fish aren't coming in tonight. The, the, the goldfish, they're okay. They can take some cold. And uh, I just need to, you know, do all the, I gotta move the plants in. I've also been kind of working on this area over here because that's just, that's how the whole thing started over the summer. I was like, I need to redo these shelves and reorganize everything. And then everything got pulled and went back. And then lots of trips to, goodwill and it's the, neither here nor there though that's not a priority yeah the priority is going to be the plants so it's time to get moving so from wednesday or thursday's video i have all this stuff ready to go in and i'm pretty sure everything here needs to yeah these all gotta come in with some of my plants mainly the hibiscus if it's going to be like a light frost to even like a mild frost I don't always rush to bring those in. And I know there are gonna be a lot of people that don't like this, but here's the deal. I move them in, they throw a fit, drop their foliage because I didn't acclimate them. And uh, then I have leaves everywhere. Or I can let a light frost take the foliage off and the bugs off, move them in, and they re-sprout and get going again. So that's why I do that that way. So the hibiscus, uh, with the exception of that one the rest are going to stay out tonight and get their little nature's bug treatment they can take a light brief frost nothing too much also it's very warm <laughs> right here on this side of the pool there's a nice little warm pocket because i may or may not have cranked the pool heater up to like 95 degrees just to buy me another day but they're pretty much the only exception. I mean, obviously there's the windmill palms and the mule palms and the queen palms and things like that. They can take the light frost and it's not going to hurt them at all. But the, like, you know, like this guy. Yeah, that's got to grow in. Whew. Time to get busy. I've been thinking about it and I don't know how I can possibly vlog my way through this. So I don't think I'm going to. Just, it's like a mental thing. I need to hold on to my brain. It's, 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 things are getting intense in my head. So I'm gonna spend like another, I don't know, half hour over here working on clearing this space up and then it's gonna be time to bring those plants in. And I can't wait to have the plants in and then spend the time reorganizing those shelves and that desk. I worked from this corner over and then I started, it's been going on all summer. It's been, it's been a long, it's, it's, don't worry about it. Okay, quick update. I was just gonna do it before and after. I thought I'd talk my way through it briefly. There's a lot to do I'm losing sunlight, but I got the little guys in. They're not arranged how they're going to be. They're just in for now. I had someone who was able to help me, so I was like, okay, let's do this and just move it along. I can worry about the setup of those things later. Orchids up, the Vandas at least, and then got, you know, the things over here. And then, you, know, you get it. Just overall kind of getting there. I like to bring in the little guys first, which was partially because I had a helper, but I still like to do it first anyways because I load everything onto this cart right here and it's a lot easier to maneuver that cart over here into this area where I can, you know, get the stuff off of them. So now that the little stuff's in, it's time for the big stuff. 
then I just kind of tuck the medium stuff in like the nooks and crannies and make it work. Okay. I'm having some revelations here. Just thinking for a moment. The Eureka Palms have really outgrown this space. You know, I repotted them in the spring. This one did really well. It was in the sun, and I keep one on each side of my hot tub. Like, there's a wall, one Eureka Palm here, another one there, and a big maple tree behind it. The one right here, which is that one, lots of sun. That one over there, not much sun. And guys, it just doesn't look good. The one that's still outside. Like, it's, it would, like, I could bring it back. It'll be okay. It's not, like, dying. Typically, I don't get a plant if I can't keep it. Like, um, not necessarily I'd mean challenge-wise, but space-wise, right? And I'm running out of room for both of these guys because they've grown so much. And the one that's in the shade still has mealybugs on it. And uh, this one probably will too. It's just something I deal with with these guys every year. And I probably will continue to unless I resort to using harsh chemicals, which I'm just going to avoid doing. What I'm getting at is I'm thinking for a lot of reasons. One, because they're just getting so big. Two, I've talked about how much I love these pots down here so much. And I would be devastated if they broke. I'm devastated is a bit extreme, but I really like those pots. And every time I move them, oh, it's just, it's nerve-wracking for me. I do it so slowly and so carefully so that I don't break them. I'm thinking just like a smart thing to do here would be to, I'm going to keep this one in, but I think I got to let the other Eureka Palm go. Probably nobody cares. I do. I've had them for a long time and I actually have like a little bit of sentimental attachment to them. But sometimes you just got to move on. And uh, this one's looking nice. I can pull it from this pot next year, put it in something else that's more practical to move in and out of the house, another garage, and then just have the two cement planters on each end of the hot tub and put something perennial in those that I won't have to move every year, like maybe some bamboo or, I don't know, a bush. Well, I'd worry about that next year. Just trying to be practical here and thinking through things. I'll keep thinking on it and get back to work. Another quick break just to warm up. I realize that I started off the Eureka Palm discussion by saying I don't normally get plants if I can't keep them, like if they're going to outgrow the space. Uh, and then I said that it's gotten too big, like contradicted myself there. What I mean was now I don't do that. Several years ago when I got the Eureka Palm, I was like, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It'll grow slow. And it, I mean, it, it, act, it, it grew pretty fast. It did. But I do think, though, that if I were to keep that and pot it up into something shorter and smaller, like a nice shallow planter, then, I mean, I still got a few years left with it. So that's not the end of the world. Almost there. Things are happening. Got stuff hanging up and let's take breaks occasionally to warm up. It would be so nice if you could just, like, snap your fingers and be done with this sort of thing, you know? And, although I do enjoy the workout. That is kind of nice. And the thought process is kind of fun. It's just, I thought I had one more day to do this. You know, I used three different weather apps and none of them got it right. So, oh well, is what it is. Like I said, good exercise, kind of exciting, bringing things in. It's going to be a fantastic night. I'm going to feel so good when this is done. And my objective today, when I woke up, was I told myself, you're going to kick today's ass. And that's <laughs> to be determined. Like I said, that would be so nice just to be able to snap your fingers and be done. Just like that. <laughs> If only it were that simple. What a day. And I'm not done. But most of everything is in. Everything that needs to be in right in. And right, right, right. right everything needs to be inside right now is in. Uh, there's still like, you know, yeah, windmill palms out there. And the mule palms and the queen palms. And they, they'll they be okay with this cold snap that are going to be just fine. And um, what I think that that's everything i'm about out of space here though so that's that's not great i'll be able to make more room though like the adenidia palms over here those are gonna go inside it's just everything is sopping wet remember last week do y'all did you see last week's vlog i think it was last week's vlog when i said i like to let the plants dry out for a day or two before i move them in you know well, that didn't work out and they're still it's in. That was my objective. Once they're in, I can relax and then arrange things <laughs> however need to be. I brought the fig in. You know, I was on the fence with that one because it was like, it just doesn't spark joy. But 
I think I would like to have one that just wasn't standardized. And I was like, well, I can keep my eyes peeled for one that's standardized. And if not, then I can just cut the branches off and start my own next year. I'm sure I could find one that's normal, though. All the hibiscus are in because it's calling for a lot of precipitation. It's not like it's just going to be cold. I was like, you know, I'm going to bring those in. Every plant that I consider plants that throw a fit when I move them in, I have on the outer perimeter because like it, I've talked with the crotons and the hibiscus. How sometimes they drop their leaves when they get moved in. They reflush and it's okay, but I would like that to be on the outside of things so it's easier to sweep up. I've got the alocages in. The others, dormant ones, are over here. I know this still looks like a disaster, but I mean, believe... Well, you don't need to... You saw what this looked like before. So don't come for me. I'll get this. I'll get to that eventually. <laughs> Made a lot of progress today. It was a busy day. Edinidias will be inside. Once those have dried out, they um, need to be cleaned up and tidied a little bit. The plumeria, I it needs to go into dormancy. So I'm going to keep this over here on like the cooler side of things. And uh, there's still, there's a little bit more space than I'm used to because normally there's another Eureka palm over here, but I don't know. I'm still not settled on that one. I'm still thinking about it a little bit. And there's all the, you know, the alacages and lots of things on the floor here that need to be completely and totally rearranged. Like I talked about a while ago. I don't know how long ago. My brain's fried after today, but how I had someone helping me. So I was like, okay, let's just get the stuff done. But like, yeah, I don't need like, you know, the compatibility wise, certain things are grouped together that shouldn't be like, especially over here with the succulents. I mean this, well, this isn't like horribly incompatible, but like the bromeliads need to move. They don't need to be up here with the succulents. And I do like to keep my succulents up higher because I don't have to water them as much, and then I don't have to undo the lighting when I water, because you can't have that water running down. I have my uh, Schlumba Jairas up there, chilling, getting some dark rest. They can go into bloom and do their... That's everything just... there's. I, I need to do a lot of work out here. Everything's in. That's what I'm excited about. Most excited about. Very happy about that. And there's still, like, room for... I mean, mostly just to walk. This isn't how things are staying. There's, like I said, there's still tons to do. Uh, the plants are safe, which is all I really care about. I put that epipenum up there much higher, and you can't tell from the other side. I mean, you can kind of tell, but before I brought the other plants and you could really see it was vining all the way down, that looked beautiful. Right now, things are a bit more about practicality than beauty, so it's time to rest and relax and then do these things. I really want to go to the and handle the desk and maybe go to the container store at some point. I don't know. By container store, I of course mean Amazon. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to chill for a while. It's not for too long, though. There's still tons and tons and tons and tons of stuff to do, which is good. I enjoy doing things. That's fun. I'm going to pick up in the morning. I can't talk anymore. <laughs> My brain's not working. Yeah, big wave? You wave? No wave? Okay, you good girl pumpkin, I love you. Whew. Yesterday was fun. I do mean that. It actually was fun. I kind of enjoy doing this. I know that sounds probably kind of crazy, but uh, it's a good workout. It only takes a few hours. It's not as daunting as it would seem. And it's such a drastic, like, start to finish change. Still plenty to do. You do some rearranging. Like, this Eureka Palm's not going to work right here. It's, like way up in those orchids which they do not need they don't like that i have to decide what i'm going to do with this whole thing this year because i have the water lily i brought the tropical water lily in and set this in here like a, a bit ago and uh the thing is they don't like much movement in their water and there's not a ton of space to put that filter somewhere else so i'm just kind of slowly getting things set up over here i use some of the water from the outdoor pond and uh, the filter media and whatnot, so it'll cycle rather quickly in the fish. I can't find the that big bullfrog last week. I think there's a reason that bullfrog was so big. It's the only downsides to moving over to using a little fish is that they get eaten. So there's something I learned this year. I mean, I knew that. I just didn't think that it would be an issue, but turns out it was. But there's still some little, like, shabunkin goldfish and stuff out there that they're okay with these temperatures. I'm going to have to acclimate them back in here very, very, very slowly. But I can't, like, the mollies and all the 
tropical fish that like a month or so ago it was like late september i went in to move those in and i couldn't i couldn't find most of them there were still some fry that were able to hide out amongst the brush and stuff that was in the outdoor pond but no they got eaten i'm pretty sure those those are frog snacks i did bring these saracenias and the floater planter with the pitcher plants in it that's not really appropriate they need a winter dormancy so they need a chill but the problem is i put this mangrove in the middle i guess i didn't really think that one through did i i can pull the saracenias and like pack them in some damp moss and put them someplace dark and cool or cold really for the winter time so that they can get their winter rest and bring them back out that'll be fine i just wanted to bring it in so i could get the mangrove in so compatibility wise wasn't the best arrangement thing is i got that mangrove when i was on vacation and uh, i when i came home i was just like you know what this is i'll just pop that right in there it'll be fine and it actually has done well it's grown quite a bit considering it was just a pod the nepenthes has some cold damage to it but its center growths are still okay so i'm not really worried about them they'll be all right but otherwise everything out here is looking great i'm gonna have to do a lot of rearranging with things like things are cluttered and clustered together but it's it all came together it came together better than it has before that doesn't go there usually when i bring the plants in it is just a disaster in here and it takes me a couple weeks to put things together i kind of was able to keep up my flow and sort of semi place things where they needed to be with the exceptions of the shelves and I know people always ask with this, they say, is this safe? Probably not. I wouldn't recommend doing this. Not a great idea, especially if you have children around. I've never had them fall. They always feel pretty nice and sturdy, but I mean, I'm not gonna say, hey, this is a great idea and you should do it, then have someone get hurt. That would be stupid. But it works out well for me and for what I do. But yeah, compatibility wise, I need to get them rearranged and whatnot and that's something that we'll have to wait until next week because this video is plenty long oh i missed you so pretty so yeah i'm gonna keep an eye on this because i only have one of those waterfalls running right now because like i said they don't like the water always don't like their water moving too much so i'm gonna kind of watch it see what it does i'll know that it's like having a rough time with it if i start to notice the pads discoloring and they'll be ready to snap off that's from usually too much water flow, too little light, cold temperatures, those sorts of things. It's not super bright in this spot because there is a lot of foliage up here that's kind of shading things. So I have some work I need to do with lights, but they're on the way in the mail. And if it looks like it, this isn't going to work out for the water lily, then that's not a big deal. I'll just cut it back, throw it in a bag, store it similar to what I do with my lotus, and it'll be fine. I thought it'd be nice to have that out here, but you know, we can't always have what we want. And I did, pardon the lighting, I did last minute decide to pull up one of my poblanos and my um, amazel basils over here too. So I'm going to pot those up and see if I can keep those going this winter. Seems unlikely, but I'm going to give it a shot. And then more arranging, and there's still a few plants that haven't even made it into the mix. And there's still more plants outside because there were like plenty of plants that could take the colds. And despite it getting down to 27 degrees, doesn't look too bad outside. Let's go have a quick look. Okay, by uh, things did all right, I didn't mean the bananas. Obviously they didn't do okay, it's 27 degrees. Yeah, that's, that's too cold for them. The trunks are still nice and stiff though, which is good because I mentioned in my banana video, I like to get them pruned up like before they get rotten down so i can mulch them just works out better the um bikini the call i mean it was 27 degrees it's fall that's just what happens now aren't they doing well now this is a very warm corner it was nice and toasty these were all clearance tropicals and i kind of wanted to play around with i had a thermometer back here which the thermometer says it only got down to 39 over here in this corner which is a drastic temperature difference from the other two thermometers that I set up. So that explains why they did okay, but I left them out because I wanted to see how they would do some reevaluating my microclimates so I can kind of plan out some planting things. Yeah, it's sad, but it's just part of it. It's all right, they'll be back next year. Okay, and the ginger looked much better. <laughs> Sometimes cold damage takes a minute to show. 
But dealing with the Alpinia, Zarimbit Variegata, it's doing all right. She can certainly up here on a hill. Queen palms, they're okay. Obviously, they're not gonna fret over a little bit of cold. So guess what I'm gonna be working on next week? Lots of cleanup. It's just part of fall. I don't mind it. Just some pruning and some mulching, no big deal. Make sure to put that back down. It's not very cold out. It's like 50 something. You know, it was just a few day cold snap. I hate when that happens, right? When it's like, hey, if this would just not happen, then potentially I wouldn't have to do all this for another month. But it's better for the tropicals to get them in and have them be semi-warm at least. There's a fan blowing right on my mic. That's probably not great for audio. I'm so sorry. Turn that fan off. Uh, <laughs> wish I'd realized that about five or six minutes ago. Oops. Yeah, because it's 75 in here, and that's just with one uh, little space heater running. So that's pretty good. And that garage door just opened for a little bit. You know, the plants, they help kind of hold the heat in, but not enough. When temperatures really drop outside, I'll get the plastic and everything set up and tie this whole... Yeah, we'll see. When people always ask about the orchids, they're, they're back there. Yeah, because I usually put the orchids over here behind the areca palms. I need to get all this stuff sorted out before I do, you know, it's like a, just like with cleaning up the garage, arranging the plants is a puzzle as well. I'll go out later on today when I'm done editing this video and catch what fish I can and move them in here. There's only a few, so like normally I'd be like, this needs to cycle fully, but this is a very large body of water and it's a few very, very small fish, so I'm not really concerned about it. There's something about this time of year where like once my plants are in and then I start doing a few little things over here with the filters and with the, like, I just want to set up a fish tank, which I don't need to do. I have plenty of fish tanks. I mean, I have two big fish tanks and a few little ones, but my basement is full, absolutely full of old fish tanks. I used to have tons and tons and tons of fish and it's just, that's got me stirring. I don't want to play with my fish, but I'm not going to. Not right now, anyways. Maybe later, but I shouldn't. But I might. I found a hot dog when I was cleaning up the garage. Isn't that cute? <coughs> Little dog toy. Guess I was hiding that out here from the dogs last year before Christmas. And a tiny hand. Why? I don't know. All right, but thanks everyone for hanging out while I did all the things. It's very chaotic few days but a fun few days next week be arranging plants and doing some stuff outside and it'll be good times hey don't forget to leave the video a thumbs up it makes a big difference for the videos and for the channels thank you for doing that and subscribe as well and hit that notification bell upload multiple times a week and that way you'll know new videos come out this guy is he's a little he's a little ticked off it should be okay though i have all my social media linked down below down in the description of the video I'm on Instagram more than anything else. So these are examples of things I'm talking about, like this. That's not really ideal there. Need to rearrange that. I hope everybody's doing well, having a great day and a great life, and everything's just going beautifully for you. And of course, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.